sons and daughters of God, daily devotional by Ellen G. White. To lift the standard high. July 27th. We must have the courage of our convictions. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way for people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones. Lift up a standard for the people. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 10. Perplexities will increase, but let us as believers in God encourage one another. Let us not lower the standard, but keep it lifted high, looking to him who is the author and finisher of our faith. We all need greater Christian courage, that we may uplift the standard under which it is inscribed, the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. We are to make no compromise with the leaders of rebellion. We must have a firm determination to do the Lord's will at all times and in all places. Let the truth for this time be cordially received and become the basis of character and it will produce steadfastness of purpose which the allurements of pleasure, the fickleness of custom, the content of the world loving and the hearts of and the hearts own clamour of indulgence and are powerless to influence. We have marked illustrations of the sustaining power of firm religious principles. Even the fear of death could not make the fainting David drink of the waters of Bethlehem to obtain which valiant men had risked their lives. The gaping lion's den could not keep Daniel from his daily prayers, nor could the fiery furnace induce Shadrach and his companions to fall down before the idol which Nebuchadnezzar set up. Young men who have firm principles will ensure pleasure, defy pain and brave even the lion's den and the heated furnace, rather than to be found untrue to God. Let it be written upon the conscience, as with a pen of iron upon the rock, that real success, whether for this life or for the life to come, can be secured only by faithful adherence to the eternal principles of right. devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for any further study notes. Sons and Daughters of God